everyone. Today I want to show you how to update your firmware and software for your Motu uh, audio interface. Uh, even though it should be quite straightforward, some parts of it are and some other parts might have you wondering about how to do them for quite a long time. So I've decided to make a really quick tutorial uh, that might clarify a few things, mostly for users of the uh, Motu Ultralight Hybrid Make 3, um, which is the same that I'm using and which is the one which I've been testing what I'm going to show you. Okay, so the two things that we will be updating will be the audio software, which is basically this QMix and this uh, little piece of software that uh, includes the uh, driver and shows you the driver version, which corresponds to the uh, firmware version that you have in your, in your uh, audio card in your Moto Ultralight, okay? But how do we set this up? Okay, I'm going to show you. We will go to your, um, you will access the Moto website, which is moto.com. Once there, you need to log in, else you won't be able to access the downloads, which is where you want to go to get your uh, new firmware and your software, updated software, okay? So you click on downloads, and the first thing will be to choose either uh, Windows or Mac. I'm uh, working on a Mac, so I'll go for Mac. And in here, uh, well, the, 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 the way they've set this up is not really clear. You have to, first of all, be careful if you are using OS X or if you are using OS 9. Normally, you should be using OS X, but uh, just be aware that there might be a difference, okay? Uh, now, if you're using OS 6, uh, you will want to go to Power USB uh, in the case of the Moto Ultralight Make 3. So you click here and now you get a whole list of things. Uh, most of them have nothing to do with your uh, card. So you have to be careful and see which are the things that you want to be downloading. Okay, so uh, there, are, there are a couple of things. Uh, first, you want the the firmware, okay? Ultralight Mate 3 hybrid firmware. So I've already downloaded it and I have it here. This is the what you get from that, okay? Now I'm not going to run it yet. I'm going to show you where you download the audio installer. And in this case it's just below this, but what you are looking for is Moto Universal Audio installer. Now uh, this one is very straightforward. If you just click download you will get um, this and from here just double click in here and follow the instructions. It's really easy and this will let you update without any trouble. Now the trouble comes when updating the uh, firmware in here. Now if, if you're like me you're using it with the firewire uh, because it's just faster and because uh, it has enough power not to need to connect also an external power source. So you just go with one cable and that, that does it. Okay, now the trouble is that you connect the file, you, you're using it that way, and when you try to update, you keep getting a little, a little problem, which is something like this. It tells you Devices, the device is not connected. Confirm that it is connected to the computer via USB. Please press and hold the page knob and then turn it on to switch the software, uh, the firmware update mode. Now it's pretty clear and it says it all, but you might miss the fact that it says USB. Okay, now it won't do the update with anything but the USB. So that's what really had me going round and round for a long time. If you if you go back to the page where you have the software update and we, we go to the Ultralight Make 3 Hybrid software, if you click on the README and you look for the Make 3 Hybrid, make sure it's the hybrid. In here it tells you disconnect the firewire and connect the USB. Now once you remove the firewire connection and you plug into the USB, then it's really simple and it's really following the instructions. So, so you will be launching the uh, ultralight updater, which will bring this error up. Once you have it open, you will go to your hybrid uh, audio card 
and in the front panel you will be pressing on this knob you will be pressing page and then you will turn it up on by clicking here you click and release in here while you hold this okay you need to keep on holding the page knob until on the green screen it shows boot and the version okay be sure to keep holding the page until it shows that as soon as you do that you will see that the program uh, for the update has changed that little screen and now shows a button a button to say update the version now just click update and it will take you through it thank you very much for watching and i hope that this has helped you some